What's up YouTube, this is Jabber Tech, and today we're gonna take a look at a cool device from Sendo Tech, and this is a smart power strip. So that's right, you get four Wi-Fi plugs, not to mention you have three USB outlets here as well. So this will definitely help eliminate all this clutter right now that you have in your outlets. So I know I try and find these smart plugs that kind of stack together, but then you pretty much have used all your plugs and you really can't plug anything else. And then if you use these bigger ones, you pretty much have to sacrifice that one outlet just to get one device that's a little smarter. But this will help alleviate that. And let's go ahead and check this out together. This will run you 30 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below where you can purchase it. And let's go ahead and unbox this thing, plug it in and check it out together. For those of you that want to know the exact power specifications and output, pause the video and take a look at it together. But you pretty much get a 1250 watt max, and that's pretty good, so you definitely will not have to worry about running out of power. So let's just go ahead and open this up and see what we have. So this is your instruction guide, and what I like about this one is it connects to the Smart Life app. I really like that Smart Life app. I think it's very easy and very intuitive, not to mention you get a lot of updates as well. So they're always improving their product with updates. Now you have this card, happy or not happy. I think we'll be pretty happy, thumbs up to that. And that reminds me, thumbs up to the video and subscribe as well. So let's take this out and take a look at it. So this is a very stylish looking, looking plug. You kind of, let me show you in the light there. You kind of have this brushed aluminum type of look. Of course this is plastic, but it gives this just a nice upscale feel to it. Just looks really cool, really classy. Just take a look at how it shimmers in the light there. Of course, you have your surge on off. And then let's take a look at this cable together. See how long this is. You probably have enough length here. I'm going to say this is about six feet. So there's definitely enough length. There's nothing worse than having a power strip that has a short cable. So let me go ahead and plug this in. And then we'll go ahead and connect it with the app and see how easy that is. And then we'll plug in some devices and check it out together. Okay, so now I have it plugged into an outlet. Let's turn this on. So you do get a little light here for the USB. And then you'll see back here the lights flashing, so that means it's ready to pair. So let me get the app, and then we'll pair this up together. All you have to do now is download the Smart Life app, either from Google or Apple, and then you have access to the app. And as you can see, I do have a lot of smart plugs and I'm hoping to alleviate some of these just by having this surge protector. So let me show you how to add it. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is click on the add icon just like so. Select electrical outlet and then confirm that it's blinking rapidly. If it's not blinking rapidly just hold down the button and it'll start blinking again. And then once you put in your Wi-Fi password, now this is just a 2.4 gigahertz network. You can't use it on five gigahertz, but that's not an issue. Most of these smart plugs are. And I just heard the outlet click on and off. So we're just about ready to pair and it's just about done. Takes about 30 to 40 seconds. So just give it a minute. And now we're all done. It's just added the device. And you actually see the graphical representation here of the outlet. So you have one, two, three, and four. So you have switch one, two, three, and four here. And then if you notice, on the power strip as well, it says socket one, two, three, and four. Now the USB ones are not controlled via the app, just the sockets, but that's okay. So let's see, you can also do a bunch of different things here. You also have a countdown timer if you want for each socket. So if you want it to turn off automatically, say you're sleeping and you want to turn off the radio after half an hour, you can do that. Then you can also set a timer as well if you want to add a schedule and have it turn on at certain intervals during the day, you can do that. So let me plug in some devices here. So first, let me test out the iPhone. And you can see that's charging. So let me put that down. Let me plug in my other phone. That's charging too. And then finally, for a third device, let me just plug in my tablet here and you can see that's charging as well. So all three devices are charging perfectly fine. That's still charging. 
iPhone is still charging there. So the USB ports definitely work. Everything is great. Let me put this aside. Now we have everything paired with the app. You have the ability to turn off the entire power strip. And of course you can rename this to whatever you want. But what's really nice is you don't just have to individually turn off each outlet. You can turn on or off the entire power strip. So right now it's off. Let me give the command and have Google turn it on. Hey Google, turn on the power strip. So now everything just turned on. You can see my tablet and my phone started to charge. So that's pretty cool. You could do the same thing. Hey Google, turn off the power strip. And then everything just switched off. And then you have the ability, of course, to control each individual outlet here. So let me show you how that works. First, let me turn it back on. Hey Google, turn on the power strip. Turning on the power strip. Ooh. So again, all you have to do is go ahead in here, and if you want to rename the power strip, just tap on it and create a nickname. And the same goes for each individual outlet. So right now, by default, it's switch one, two, three, and four. Let me just switch one so that we can test it out together. I'm going to call this one iPhone. And then I'm going to call strip number three, which is what I have the tablet connected to. I'm going to go ahead and call that one tablet. Hey, Google, turn off the iPhone. Sure, turning off the iPhone. And then you can tell right now that the iPhone stopped charging. So let me turn it back on. Hey Google, turn on the iPhone. Hey Google, turn off the tablet. The tablet is off. So again, this is actually pretty, pretty cool. I like this strip. And then I can see many uses for this. I could see you plugging this into your kitchen devices so that when you wake up in the morning, you can turn on your coffee machine, you can turn on the toaster, you can turn on anything. And it's a really nice device to have, not to mention if you do have it in your office, you can connect different lamps to it and always have the USB charging your devices. Overall, for 30 bucks, I think this is a great device. It feels very well made, and I definitely like this brushed aluminum feel. But let me know in the comments below what you think about this power strip. I think it's great because it definitely eliminated all these little ones that I had lying around. and I kind of wasted a lot of outlets using these ones. But with this, I have four built into one as well as the USB ports. So definitely a win in my book. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I definitely appreciate you watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in another video.